today we will see in quantum mechanics the position and momentum are two important parameter which we are going to deal with it in the entire uh, course according to uncertainty principle a position and momentum cannot be measured simultaneously accurately that is more important uh, in this lecture we will see how to represent the wave function uh, on position basis as well as uh, momentum basis we know that uh, schrodinger wave equation is i h cross uh, t by t t uh, get psi t is equal to h uh, multiplied with get psi, uh, psi of t uh, this is the Schrodinger, uh, Schrodinger, this Schrodinger equation is the equation of motion in quantum physics. Of course, it cannot be uh, derived, but we can postulate it. it its correct, uh, correctness is confirmed by its successful quantity, quantitative explanation of all known experimental observations. Now, we will see how to represent the wave function in position spaces uh, this is the uh, schrodinger wave equation i h cross uh, t by t t get psi uh, psi of t which is equal to h psi of t where h is a hamiltonian operator uh, the wave function x can be uh, represented as the inner product of x psi the real meaning of it is how much component of x is projected over the total wave function psi that is the meaning of this, uh, this. Uh, here uh, x is represented as a bra vector and this is the get vector we know very well the get psi can be written as summation over n uh, cn uh, get pi n uh, this is using superposition principle we can write it and also we have noted so many times that cn is equal to inner product of psi n with psi that is uh, how much uh, part of uh, psi n projected over the total wave function psi that is the meaning of uh, this uh, probability amplitude or expansion coefficient uh, so uh, here the basis is pi n remember that here basis is the pi n and psi is your uh, total wave function uh, so the psi can be written as uh, pi n uh, into psi inner product of pi n with psi uh, into pi n uh, this we have replaced for c n c n is nothing but uh, pi n inner product of pi n with the psi uh, so uh, since uh, the inner product is a number you can uh, bring back and forth of this uh, get vector uh, because it's a number so i brought this into right hand side of this uh, get pi n i am bringing it to right hand side so uh, this will become summation over n uh, get psi n uh, pi psi n uh, get psi n pra psi n into get pi sorry get pi n uh, pra pi n and get psi here you know the summation over n uh, this entire summation which i have shown in the uh, rectangular blue color box is uh, you know that is equal to one so naturally here you can see uh, get psi is equal to get psi because due to uh, completeness property the outer product of psi n with the psi n uh, uh, summation over n must be equal to one naturally the psi will become uh, get psi will become psi so we have seen get psi is equal to summation over n uh, bra psi n uh, with get psi that is inner product of psi n with pi n with psi uh, multiplied with get pi n uh, this is a discrete form 
if it is a continuous one then uh, running index n don't have any meaning so there is no, no meaning with the n also the summation will become integral so this can be written as integral tx inner product of pi uh, with uh, psi and uh, get pi uh, th here pi n is the basis we are going to change the phases into x so normally the basis is written as uh, in the curly project that is xi is the basis now so i am replacing this uh, pi as x similarly the other one get pi as x so now uh, this inner product of x with the psi that is how much uh, x component uh, projected over psi uh, that is nothing but uh, the wave function psi which is a function of x that is uh, psi of x and into get x here uh, the psi of x is nothing but x inner product of x with psi uh, that is how much x component projected over psi now we will see the moment uh, wave function in momentum basis in detail uh, normally the wave function in momentum basis uh, can be written as tilde psi which is a function of p that is tilde psi of p is equal to the inner product of p with the psi the meaning of this one is how much momentum component projected over the total wave function so tilde uh, psi of p is equal to the inner product of p psi uh, i am rewriting this is integral over tx uh, inner product of px into xp uh, here you can notice that uh, the outer product x with the x integrated over x will become 1 due to completeness property that is well known well known com uh, completeness property the, that means it is equal to you are multiplying uh, p psi by 1 so your result will not change uh, so now delta psi, uh, psi of p is equal to integral uh, tx uh, px into uh, x uh, psi so uh, now you know the in, uh, inner product of x psi that is how much x component projected over psi that means uh, psi which is a function of x this means uh, now our task is to find the uh, inner product of uh, p x we will see how to uh, find the uh, uh, inner product of p with x in order to find the inner product of uh, p with x you uh, you find the inner product of x with p that is complex conjugate we have to to do this we have to solve the very simple differential equation uh, that is uh, you take xp in the right hand side that is the inner product of x with p in the right hand side uh, you use the momentum operator that is i h cross uh, delta over delta x uh, so if you operate on momentum operator uh, what you will get you, you will get an eigenvalue of p here p is the eigenvalue here in the uh, minus i h cross uh, delta by delta x is momentum operator so you will get like this now you bring this uh, minus i h cross to the right hand side so naturally this will become one of uh, p uh, divided by i h cross if you multiply i with uh, in the numerator i and the denominator i i into i will become i squared this will become minus one minus of minus one will become plus one so when you bring this two and rearrange you will get i p over h cross into x p uh, so the solution for this equation is 
the inner product of x with p is equal to is well known e power uh, plus i p x over h cross. Now our ultimate time is we like to calculate uh, the inner product of p with x which is equal to inverse of this thing. See we are in, uh, interchanging the bra vector and the get vector. So naturally this uh, sign will get changed. So this will become e minus i uh, p x over h cross. Just now we have seen that uh, uh, psi delta of p is equal to integral t x uh, inner product of p with x and the inner product of x with psi. Uh, we have also seen that uh, the inner product of p with h is equal to e power minus i uh, i p a x over h cross. So just you replace the inner product of p with the x by this exponential term. That is using this, uh, we have replaced, then this will become integral t x e power minus i p a x over h cross into x uh, psi. Uh, so the inner product of x with psi it is already known that how much x component projected over psi that is this is psi of x. Uh, so this can be written as tx integral tx e power minus i p x over h cross uh, psi of x. Also we know p by h cross is equal to k that is p is equal to h cross k and h cross k will get cancelled with this uh, denominator h cross. So you will get minus i uh, k x uh, psi of x. That is psi delta p is equal to integral uh, t x e power minus i uh, k x psi x. This is a well known uh, familiar uh, Fourier transformation. You know the Fourier transformation. That is you are going to uh, change the x basis into uh, p basis that is position to momentum. So we have seen delta p is equal to delta psi of p is equal to integral t x e power m minus i uh, k x psi x. Now you bring uh, this to uh, the right, uh, left hand side then psi of x will uh, become you keep psi of x here and bring other thing in the other side. Then this will become integral uh, tp, uh, this uh, minus i will become plus i, e power uh, plus i k x psi tilde p. Uh, this is called inverse Fourier transformation. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you.